So as you'll know from lots of other videos, I've been trying to find a bed solution for myself and my wife. And actually, my wife had a great idea because where she watches a lot of car camping videos too. And her suggestion was a shelving unit. So we've just bought this from B&Q. It was 45 pounds. It's a tooth shelf unit. It holds 80 kilograms per shelf. So that's fine for my wife. I'm slightly over 80 kilograms, so that should be okay. But in theory, this could be quite good. Now, I already know I'm gonna have to cut the legs down, but with this setup, we'll be able to have the seats flat rather than up like this. And this is what we're ideally looking for in terms of a couple setup because it makes it more roomy and it makes it possible to access the front area if you're using that for storage. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay, so that is the shelf all built up. It's not exactly hard. You just put the four legs into the holes. Now, as you can see, the legs as they stand are way too tall. The plan is we're gonna start off cutting to this height because then we have the room to move down if that's too high. Because you either have the choice of cutting the legs to this height or to this height. So we're gonna go that height first, see if that works. And if not, we can take more off and then go down a bit more if needs be. So that's the plan. But also another important thing we need to do is to make sure it can even take my body weight as is. These are supposed to be able to take 80 kilograms and I know I am slightly over that at the minute. So let's see if it can take my body weight at least. And the answer to that question is yes. The advantage of this setup as well is that even once these legs have been cut down, we're gonna have tons of storage under both sides of these bed. But the next step is to actually cut these legs down. So we will do that now. Okay, here we go. This is the first cut and the legs cut remarkably easily but having looked at it that top end is a little bit too high so what i'm going to do because these legs legs cut so easily it's going to take off one notch off each leg and hopefully that'll be enough Okay, so this is it with another notch taken out. And whilst we kind of knew there's gonna be a gap, what we're gonna do is take out one more notch because then that will just bring that down a little bit more and make that gap not so big. So, back to the sawing board. There is the first of the two new beds. So clearly I'm now gonna to have to do the same thing again and make the second bed up. Of course, clearly this time it will be a lot faster to cut. And just like that, they're all done. And there you go, the two bed set up. It's actually like having two singles, it's quite cool. And what's also good is the cup holders in the middle are usable now. You've even got a little place to put your cup of tea and a place to put your phone. How cool is that? And as I said before, you've got oodles and oodles of storage underneath here too. It's 
it's safe to say this has been an absolute success so where the length of this bed is 60 inches uh, but where i have a 70 inch foam it's that extra 10 inches that i just need to cover with the box but that's fine because i can use that as a box where i keep my storage in so it's fine so yes with that in mind we now have a setup we just need to go car camping together and that hopefully won't be too far away so until next time take care and one last bit to show you is how much room these beds actually take up when in the boot. It's possible to not set the beds up, put all the stuff in the boot and set up when you get somewhere. How cool is that? <laughs>